seven for Lehigh against Ron Neff. Boyson is 14, six and two, a junior from Kempton, PA. And Ron Neff is a sophomore from Salt Lake City, Utah, 13, seven and one. Salt Lake, home of Grant Robbins, former grappler out there, Utah State. And Boyson looking to try to cinch it for Lehigh. If Boyson can win, Lehigh will win. If he does anything but that, Navy will still have a chance. A tie or a loss, and Navy will still have a chance to win this match. A Boyson win, and Lehigh wins. Neff, uh, father was a coach, and it was high school coach at Hillcrest High out in Salt Lake City. The season last year of eight and eight. Boyson, of course, ranked nationally 11th in the country at uh, 177. Last outing, defeated Steve Metzka of Iowa State. Slow starter, but starts to pick up speed. After We've already had, up a little sweat. I believe we had a, a stalling warning on the Navy There's wrestler already, no, did we sir. not? Didn't no. have it on purpose. Uh, I don't know. Penalty. He was pointing at. You also uh, have a stalling warning from before. Yes, he We've did. He just said that. Shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> no penalty. I think there is a stalling yeah. warning on uh, Ronnie Neff. Kind of odd. They'd only wrestle 15 seconds. No, this first period, Shell. They were over a minute now. So oh, I'm sorry, you're half. correct. That's right. It was a minute and 15. 15 seconds of action in a minute and a half of rest. <laughs> That's you're correct. Right. We're halfway through the first period. No points on the board, either wrestler. But again, Neff is not making an attempt and uh, backing away, uh, stepping sideways, uh, blocking all the combinations that could hurt him. Uh, and make it a situation where he can get penalized for stalling now that he's been warned. Out of bounds, good move, but not enough mat. OB, right in front of the Navy coach. You know, when I was uh, younger, wrestling back in the 50s, the trick was to wrestle down at the academy and work your opponent in on top of the anchor and gain your fall that way. And when I was at Mercersburg Academy, I was pulling around and there's a two-point takedown for Lehigh together with a one-point stalling so it's three nothing now I was tinkering around and uh, I saw the anchor and I had a good half Nelson and I pushed real hard for it and the, I ended up on the bottom fortunately the bell rang and I was safe but I I never tried to aim for the anchor after that I understand you, you would have had an illustrious wrestling career, Larry Benestin, with vision problems, looking up into the lights on your back as much. Correct. Caused you a lot of problems. You're correct. Caruso will give you my entire history. 17 seconds remaining. First period and a 3 nothing lead for Caruso Leon off it to two to you in the sport. period will come to a conclusion as the escape in the final three seconds puts a point on the board for Ron Neff and we end the period with Boyson leading 3-1. Here's the choice. only takedown in the period. Lift up the elbow, go in on the single and the point was awarded at that time for stalling and the follow-up takedown gave it two, made it three, escape to Neff, makes it three to one. We're to beginning the second period. Riding time not a factor, although Boyson does have 41 seconds. Escape again, 3-2. Boyson wrestling cautiously. He's been the aggressor the entire match, but there's the first move, and now Boyson comes around. Has he got it? He does, right near the edge. Ivan picks up a sneaky two. Yeah, it was a counter, really. He just... Uh, spin around on a situation where Neff made, his, as you said, his first real move. Boyson just pushed his him aside. is correct for riding time. The, the one up there? 
Yeah, we have a discrepancy be between a the riding player. times. Okay. One clock showing 50 seconds time advantage and the other one showing it something else. And the scores table is saying the clock that we can't see. Cannot see. Is, we cannot see. Well, the some, things, <laughs> some things never change, <laughs> Shell. Well, we're going to go by the one in front of us and tell you we, we think it's 52 seconds or close to it. Again in, leg dive. Good take down. Boyson leading 7-3. Ivan Boyson trying to win the match for Lehigh University. If he wins, Lehigh wins. And the fans know that. They're all sitting there saying, let's get it over with. Because Navy has a great wrestler at 190, a kid that I predict uh, will place in the Easterns. In spite of what Bill Layton says, I think Mr. Kelly has come along strong this year and is doing a marvelous job uh, for the Academy, wrestling 190, and is undefeated. And having a tie with, with Voigt of Penn State is to his credit because Voigt had a tie against Eric Volker of Iowa State the other night, and Penn State knocked off Iowa State. Half a minute to go in the second period. Boyson in. Boyson looking for two more. Got and it. Now has the takedown. 9-4. Boyson does not need a major decision to win for Lehigh. He just needs to win. It's very methodical. In not risking any opportunities. Jim sitting back there with a the white shirt on and the clipboard Boyson taking copious to put the cradle in here and then gives up on it. Another escape. All the points that have been picked up by Niff have been escape points. Period ends. Reg Wicks still shouting encouragement in there. Mentioned Iowa State before. That was Reggie, who's an alumnus of Iowa State. The other assistant coach is an alumnus Boyson of Iowa. Boyson gets out now. 10-5. Of course, Wayne Hicks. You have Wicks and Hicks are the assistant coach. And I'm so glad that Mike Frick didn't go out to Penn State to be with Fritz. With the same tongue twister. One minute, 36 seconds left. 10 to 5 lead. And at this time, I would say a point for time advantage. Uh, not being able to see the clock as Boyson goes in. Countered by Neff, the Utah grappler, thwarts off that opportunity. And there's a two pointer. He does have enough now for the major decision. We'll look at this once more, Larry, quickly before they come back. Courtesy of Sandy Snyder. The, the key to that takedown is that the, the supporting points of one wrestler were totally on the mat, that one wrestler being Boyson. And Another escape. The takedown. A minute to go, 14-6, Boyson leading. He's got a riding point assured. On his way to a major decision. That will ice the match for Lehigh. That's at the same time, show when you're lifting an opponent to your mat to the, in the air, you got to bring him back safely. And Boy, the one thing you don't want is to get an injury and then lose by default after having a 14-6 lead. <laughs> The Poison ranked in the top, around 10th in the nation at this weight class. Junior at Lehigh. Trying to bring his rest, Neff back. 
Pulls the arm out, gains the takedown. 16 to seven plus time, so he's got 17 to seven on the board. Pick him up, let him down. Oh, got that backwards. Let him up, take him down. Boyce it in, gets the takedown because this time his knees are inside. Nope, he hasn't got it yet, Larry. I don't think he's awarded it yet. And I don't think he's gonna get it. Well, Period. it's immaterial. It concludes. Boyce gets a major decision, wins 18 to eight, 14 points for Lehigh. The brown and white out in front now by a score of 22 to seven. And we'll be back with more wrestling in just a moment.